Welcome to the 2016 Fall Outlaws Appalachian Outing Video Part 1. In this series of videos, we will share with you some of our adventures that we participated in during the week, including panning for gold, trout fishing, hiking, a field trip to a Bigfoot museum, researching unbelievable delicious meals prepared by Miss Tammy and nighttime boogering. We spent six days in the field and no one wanted to go home at the end. In this first video, you will be able to watch us sit around camp and chew the fat. Enjoy and thanks for watching. In the mountains. Ain't these the Appalachians, Cheryl? Yes, sir. Oh, sir. Yeah, he's yeah. he gonna run it right off the bat. Don't tell him, sir. Don't like I'm it. bare. <laughs> of course I have it. <laughs> Southern <laughs> gentleman. That, sir, I mean, and that's what it is. It is a habit. Because <laughs> I have customers when I'm talking to them. It and is, you say yes, sir, or whatever, and they go, don't, sir, me. It it's, you can't not. Yeah. It, it took me four days to get Mark broke of that. He don't yes, sir. If I'm at a place, like a restaurant or just whatever, and somebody could be young enough to be my grandchild, I'll still say yes, ma'am, or no, yes, sir. Either. And that, I mean, that's just the way it's, I it's am. It's respect. Yeah. Um, and then that's the whole thing. And, and that's part of, to me, the reason we're all out here is out of a respect to an extent and to learn what's going on, to see what you can see what's going on. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think yeah. you ought to take the lead on this. I was wondering about this. this is She's doing in better the today than Barry is. I guarantee <laughs> it. Ain't that right, Slade? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, that's, that's the way I see it. <laughs> I mean, because all I do is hang around with the crew and, and learn off everybody else's stories. And but do. what have you found out from hanging around with the crew? You've I tell you what, that. she interviewed Kane yesterday exactly. on the trail. Yeah. And yeah. she what? did an excellent job. Excellent. I just asked ask, him a question. Good questions. ask questions. Very professional. What, He's you already got you that. You done run out of questions? He's already got that. He, did that. he filmed that yesterday. When did you get here, Mr. Bayer? Yeah, where? Here. here. When did we get here? Wednesday morning. Wednesday night. That's what day? Today's Friday. Today's Friday. And what are you going to do tomorrow? What I did today. How many times have you been out in the woods since you've been here? I thought when I got out of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is this is true. Now, I'll, I'll agree with that. But but how many times? How how much have you actually watched, walked out, and seen what Kane's found? Or Kane's a young book. This is true. Kane can do this. Show. I wasn't here five minutes when well, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to pick up what he was laying down. Why is that? <laughs> Well, I've seen the condition you came back in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Describe that condition. You were sweating, breathing hard. He was sweating so hard his boots were wet. Red face, his boots were wet. And, yeah. and Mark had already turned around an hour before that. Yeah, yeah. Mark no, it was more than an hour before that. Before well, this is true. I don't, I don't remember how far y'all came in behind him. <laughs> Boning. I've never heard him bone. He's Breaking pale. down what they were going to eat down mussels out of the river. Yeah. <laughs> How much water they had. Yeah, they were taking inventory of their supplies. I'm not down with that jam. <laughs> <laughs> All I can do is got no Wi Fi here. But. Yeah. yeah. But Ain't it is, it is, it is super nice, though, that yeah. folks could come from how many different states? 
We got three from Tennessee, one from uh, Georgia, two from Bama, one from Mississippi, and Kane got the long distance travel award. Mm -hmm. from Ohio, which it was an honor to finally meet him. Me and him have been friends on Facebook and MySpace. I believe we was even friends on MySpace before we all jumped into Facebook. Could have been because um, Facebook didn't really show up till about six years ago. I didn't know him less. I, was... I mean, everything was MySpace yeah. until that point. And then when Facebook showed up about six mm -hmm. years ago, that was when everybody deserted MySpace mm -hmm. yeah. and went to Facebook. And in a way, that's that is how a lot of us have connected. It's the only way you can connect through the through the internet. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's it. Yeah. If it hadn't have been for the internet, none of us would know each other. Yeah. Well, we that's get into that's part part of how we ended that conversation last night. Uh, we was talking about, you know, everybody says, well, how is the government interfering in anything what we're doing? Until the internet came around government never had a problem with like-minded people coming together on a certain subject. But when they screwed up and made the internet, well, when Al Gore invented the <laughs> internet, yeah, we gotta give Al his bumps here. And uh, he, he caused all this to happen. Because now, complete strangers can talk to each other by the means of the internet. And then they finally meet up together and it just turns into the camaraderie with the subject and everything. It just draws everybody together. And makes some great friends. Yeah. For life. I mean, that's the main thing. Now, what we're doing as far as the looking around and doing is one thing. But to me, the friendships are more important than, than the Absolutely. research. Absolutely. Okay. Well, you can find friends that you like. I mean, I mean, that's it to yeah. me. Yeah. That's the that's the main thing I get out of it. Yes, I'm loving going, following Kane around, you know, him showing us the footprints, what all he found, this kind of stuff. But to me, it's all getting back to the camp and everybody sitting around talking, learning from each other, telling the stories, the friendship. But to me, that's the main part of it. That's what Vicki always says. She said, it ain't got nothing to do with the research. It's the friends that you make from it. And, of course, Larry and Shelly and Mark have been working quite a bit with Dan and Vicki here lately, and if it hadn't been for the Internet, that wouldn't have been that. Absolutely. It's true. <clears throat> then all of a sudden, as I was talking about Kane, and I've watched him progress over the years, and I'm so proud of what him and Eric does up there in Ohio. And then... Some old sucker from Georgia shows up on there named Corn Tassel or something like that. And he screws up. He starts <laughs> saying All things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl just was is giving basically what me and Kumbo have always done, shared things that we grew up with, and Cheryl got into the heat of the moment and all of a sudden people were hitting him up like I want you to take me out there. You done seen something. And he said, Show and me he a asked, Yeah, the first time we met Cheryl, what, three weeks ago? Yeah. In Ella J, he said, I just don't understand it. Everybody now is hitting me up through private message. Take me out, take me out. What did I do? I said, You said too much. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't keep my damn mouth shut. <laughs> but see, if you didn't keep your mouth shut, we wouldn't have got to know you. And uh, we're not putting nobody down that'll listen to this video saying that you don't know what you're doing. It's just that it, it's refreshing when you get a lot of people together who has a caliber to talk about this thing with logic and truth instead of fabrication and what you want it to be. And, I mean, people can want things to be whatever they want it to be, but whether it's that way or not, it don't work out like that. Well, that's, I mean, that's kind of like all these people coming down here to fish. Mm -hmm. There ain't no fish down here. But they're going to keep putting a pole in the water because they think they might have saw one. Right. But then again, you've got those people who've been fishing this sucker 
and know where them little honey holes mm -hmm. are at. Right. So which story is real and which story is not? Now, do you want to go with somebody who just hit or miss, or do you want to go and follow the guy that knows where the holes are? That's it. That's right. But everything's cool with that, except you don't know what kind of agenda they have in the end. I keep hearing vehicles in the background. I love it up here. First time I've ever been in this part of Georgia. Only the experience with Georgia I've ever had was passing through Atlanta, and this is not Atlanta. <laughs> it's not. A lot of history in this area. This is Cherokee Nation, you was at one time. Trail of Tears actually run just west of us, where they loaded them onto all them barges and things up there at Chattanooga to ship them elsewhere. And there's a ranger and we gotta go cook. See them. They're gonna come up here, hit cook. They'll turn it off now. Huh? They'll turn off the No, let's film it. Let's yeah. Go, let's go, yeah. Really? Yeah. Doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, but if he sees the camera and he sees the camera. If he sees the camera, he's, 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 camera, he's, he's going to, that's going to, that's going to keep doing. him in check. It's already in the yeah. 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 Tell him we're going to shoot porn up there. Tell him we're going to shoot porn. We're waiting on the midgets. <laughs> we love how they flap them little arms. Hey, Shelly's the guest star. <laughs> Green Ford pickup F one two. Yeah, he he's reading the sign. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he's, 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 he's checking fine. out a place in camp. Well, if it was, I mean, look at the kid. Dana, Dana, Dana. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've we just been sitting here wishing. Right. Yeah, just sitting here wishing. He was fussing with somebody in the truck. Yeah. We ain't going across that bridge. There's rednecks up there. Yeah, <laughs> rednecks up there. Can't build a fire. They got a big old sign out here. We can't. <laughs> Shelly does Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> and you thought you liked her. I love Shelly. <laughs> Poor Shelly. Why is Shelly the fall <laughs> guy? <laughs> I just wait. Yeah, they gotta go to sleep and eat right. something. Leave my friend she, alone. She's already humped the log. She sure has. All down. the way up and down. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark's got it on video. <laughs> For 1995. <laughs> <laughs> Special this weekend, nine <laughs> Good times. Yep. And I don't think Shelly thinks so really. Oh, yeah, she does. Well, oh, I know, I'm picking at her. Is, is, is everybody feels comfortable enough that we can each talk other. about right. that? Yeah. I mean, that's that's the whole thing. Well, it's that just shows you there. Right well, I mean, Thank for you the so people much. that don't come to these that don't feel like they're physically active enough, I mean, you can learn as much right here around this fire as you can spending a day or two up there in the woods. Yep. Yeah, you won't, you won't, you won't see the, the results. Right. But you will hear hear the stories and can picture. And then right. maybe later on, if you're in that given situation and you have one of the epiphanies and you say, "Where are you?" Exactly. That's right. They were talking about this up there in North Central Georgia, you know. Yeah. But uh. I've learned so much from this feller right here and this one right here. Yeah, yeah. And I just appreciate them so much. They're just super nice guys. Yep. They're the kind of guy that you would want to go fishing with. And I ain't showing I just... them out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you there? Uh, <laughs> <man. laughs> hey, speak for yourself. <laughs> Not after what Cain did to me the first day. <laughs> Slade 
Keith even felt sorry for me. <laughs> <laughs> that was like yesterday. It tickled me. They was all sitting here, and they we try to leave somebody at the campsite because we have people, strangers, pull up, which we're strange. We may be we're strangers to them too, but. They said, well, we're going to go through the woods and check out this track that Cain found yesterday. And uh, and somebody said, well, how far is it? Wasn't it you, <laughs> Shelly, that said, how far? Oh, yeah, he said, it ain't too far in there. So here goes Tammy and Slade. Of course, I was taking care of business down there in that outhouse. And, uh, Thank you for when sharing. I, well, you know, I just was being free with my information. <laughs> and uh, I come Sometimes you're a little too free. stumbling back up that hill to this campsite, and there wasn't nobody here. I said, okay, I can pull out my book and chill for a minute or two. Then I heard something stumbling up that hill over there in that corner, and I looked up, and there comes Slade with his tongue hanging out. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> <laughs> I said, man, I thought you went with him. He said, dog, they about to kill me. What would you tell me? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it wasn't the way you remember it. I don't know Because <laughs> he, just, he just chilled coming back. I mean, you know, he followed the path. Followed the creek. Followed yeah. the creek. Followed the creek. Saw Larry come back over down. You had now, his tongue was hanging out. Yeah. When yeah. Larry came back with Kane, his tongue was hanging out. Sure was wet. Yeah. What got me he sweated so much from up top, his boots were soaking wet. He just sweated all. They're still airing out. <laughs> and Kane walks up with his big grin on his face like, let's yeah. go and do it again. Yep. No problem at all. Absolutely. And Larry was sitting there. I, I, you know, I, he ain't even I, broke a good sweat. I, I, I greet my family by hugging them around the neck, you know, and I hug Kane, and Larry was... Is he going to hug me? I swear. <laughs> <laughs> and all poor Larry was looking for was something to drink and some place to sit down. <laughs> you ain't lying. And then later some B.C. powder. And the B.C. powder. <laughs> but this, this fellow behind me, I'm so proud of what him and Eric's done. It's been my honor to meet him, finally, meet Kane. And this this is probably this is the only the beginning. We're gonna do future outings together and hopefully one day we all can get together and come up there to his part of the country if he decides that he wants us to come up that way, you know. Bless you too. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a retreat up. I've never crossed the Mason Dixon line, but I would for Kane. <laughs> yeah, I got a place. Yeah, that's what he told Larry yeah. before he made that road trip. <laughs> <laughs> road trip through the woods. Yeah, they've actually got a group camp that's kind of like this. Right there, Saltport. You know, when you can have the whole campsite, you know, the whole area. I think you have to have at least ten people. You can get thirteen. Cheryl, you've been knowing of this area all your life, haven't Yep. Since I was a young boy scout. Coming up here and camping, hiking, backpacking, fishing. Wasn't this the first area where I'm, you you was introduced to boogers? Not this one, but somewhere in here. I got a big surprise several years back. Yeah, got some on video. Got spooked and chased around by a few of them. Very disturbing and interesting at the same time, but as always, I keep coming back, so something must be wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is my first time in this vicinity. Oh, here this. What was that? <laughs> this is our third day here, or third night. Fourth day here, right? Counting y'all too. Mm -hmm. We've heard things increase every night we've been here. And as Dickie would say, 
after three or four days, we get to smelling like tuna fish, so tonight's the night. So, this may be our last wheeled intestine. <laughs> it get ugly. Yep. We got our sacrifice. She's sitting back there. <laughs> to appease the booger gods. Depends on how, how much you put in your mouth. Now you may be the... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sacrificial lamb. lamb. <laughs> he may be the sacrificial lamb. It's always the slowest runner. <laughs> and if well, I'm the slowest runner, you're going to get shot in the knee. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it this way. If y'all ever see bear running, you better... Because if bear is running, he ain't going to stop to tell you what's chasing. Y'all just don't look, just go. The way you're going to another. Uh... Well, I hope you go another direction because, see, they're going to pick up on the one that's lagging behind, and if I've got a head start, they're going to follow you. <laughs> so, why don't you get a good sweet cag? Uh, I ain't got no cag. I'm going to throw the cag. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Thank <laughs> you. 